Intercom is an industry leader when it comes to connecting potential customers, clients, other humans with someone on your team. And you can embed a live chat widget on all pages or just some pages in your Webflow project. We'll cover both of those applications, first by creating a workspace in Intercom, copying a code snippet, pasting that code into your project, and we'll also customize the widget to match your branding. It's really important to note that with Intercom- I don't get it. What? This is remarkably similar to like every other integration video we've done. He's, he's wearing a different shirt. I'm pretty sure it's the same shirt. You think it's a medium? Yeah. Hello? Nice shirt. How do you know what he's wearing? Not him, you. How do you know what I'm wearing? There is a camera on you right now. Let's start with creating a workspace. In Intercom, if you haven't signed up before, you'll be prompted to create a workspace automatically. But if you're already signed up, you can create and switch workspaces from the dropdown. Pop up. Drop up. Let's create that workspace by first naming it, choosing our company size, and then following the only remaining on-screen instruction. And that's it, we created our workspace in Intercom. Part two, let's grab the code snippet we need to bring the chat widget into our project. Same drop up as before, let's access our settings. And once we're there, we're looking for installation. And we wanna make sure web is selected. To copy the code, by the way, this is the code we're using, which is made for website visitors, visitors to the published site, press copy code. That's part two. Part three, there are two ways to do this, but we'll go over to our project settings for the first way. Our goal is to paste the code in custom code. We'll place it inside the footer right before the closing body tag, just pasting that in the field. Let's save our changes. And of course, to make sure the changes go live, let's publish our project. Once we do, if we go to the published site, we can see that our intercom widget performs admirably. That's the first way. And the widget will appear on every single page in our published project. But what happens if we only want this to appear on some pages? Let's remove the code, just removing the code we pasted earlier, save really quick. And if we go back to the designer, we can access the settings on any specific page. Let's go over to the pages panel and access the settings for the page we're on. And just like we pasted before, we wanna add this, we wanna paste right before the closing body tag. So we'll just paste what's still on our clipboard here. Of course, let's save. Just like before, we'll publish the project and we'll take a look at the published site. Notice how the design is slightly different when we pasted it inside the page settings. Look at the contours, the subtle differences in the way the typeface is rendered. It's an entirely different experience, except not at all, because it's the same exact code. The second way of doing it using page settings just lets us control which pages Intercom shows up on. Okay, that's part three. Part four is updating, and this is really straightforward because we can go into Intercom. We're pressing the messenger button on the toolbar. Sidecar. Sidebar. This is where you can customize your messenger, which Intercom calls messenger. Let's go to style your messenger. Then here's where we'll show a time-lapse of styling the messenger. When we save and set live, it saves our changes and updates the live site. Let's go back over and refresh. Just like we expected, our design is updated. But that's it. We created an intercom workspace, copied some code, pasted some code, and updated our intercom widget at an unrealistically fast pace. That's integrating an intercom widget in Webflow.